Hi, this is James. We're going to do an install video on a Spring Solo seating kit on the Yamaha Bolt. To get the seat off, you have to take this little cover off here with a key. Yank that off. And there's a little 10 millimeter bolt up under the frame. that You'll see a tab and it's silver. It's what holds the seat on. Let's pull that out. And the stock seat just pulls up and forward and comes off. Then to remove the P-pad, there's two more 10 millimeter bolts up under the P-pad. Very conveniently placed up under the P-pad there. And it goes off. P-pad up and forward, same as the seat. Go ahead and take these brackets off too. They're unnecessary for our uh, seats. 10 millimeter. And these two is a five millimeter hex head. Okay, to install our adapter plate, uh, first thing we're going to do is put these nuts down, and these aren't, these actually don't uh, get anything screwed into them. We're just using them as a spacer. Basically, not to, to crush this wire is the main reason. Uh, go ahead and put your adapter plate on top of that. Set it down, trying to not disturb those nuts. <coughs> These are supplied with the kit. They're six millimeter bolts with a 10 millimeter uh, nut head on them. Go ahead and thread those in. Not, don't tighten them down yet or anything. Okay, now take that same 10 mil millimeter bolt that uh, you, you moved to remove the stock seat and uh, put it back in. There's a tab on the adapter plate, if it goes the same place that the stock seat attaches to. Always hand, hand start everything so you don't strip stuff out. All right, go ahead and tighten it down. Everything's 10, min, 10 millimeter. Okay, so the best way to do this is put the springs on the bottom of the seat first. Uh, put your spring down a washer than a half inch nut, and then put it on the kit. I'm not doing it this way because we're gonna be putting several different seats on there, but uh, it's nearly impossible to put a nut in on the bolt upside down. So if you want to put the the springs on the seat first, and then get a washer in, and then your nylock nut. And I get started with the two screwdrivers. Just put one up through the down through the top, and another one. Kind of kick the kick the nut on there to grab the threads. It's so much easier than trying to stick your, stick your fingers in there, which is nearly impossible. Same deal here, obviously. Grab yourself a half inch wrench and just tighten those down until the nylocks bite in and then you're good. I need to rotate this the spring somewhat in order to get the the wrench index with the bolt of the nut.
Uh, next, you can install the hinge, put your uh, hinge on there, a couple uh, bolts on there. For this 10 by 13 seat, the hinge has to be all the way forward. Just knew that because I put it on there already. Uh, put your seat and hinge on the plate. Normally, your springs would be on the seat too. Have the shoulder bolt and a little nylock nut supplied with the install kit. Put those on there. All right, so this is a shoulder bolt. Uh, we got a nylock nut on there. Uh, it's a 7 16 nut and a 4 millimeter uh, shoulder bolt. It's kind of weird, but that's what we got. When you tighten down there, uh, don't over tighten it or else you can break the hinge because you don't want um, to, there to be interference between this bung and the last step is uh, mounting the spring to the adapter plate put a, a washer and a half inch nylock nut in there Alright, once you feel the nylock biting in, that's good. Then it won't fall, it won't come back off while you're riding. To install our pee pad, you just use the same bolts that came out. Obviously, if you're getting a pee pad, put the pee pad on first because the bolts are under the seat. Tighten those down and then you